Now we're going to go to the kitchen where there's also some hard work that I believe is going to pay off. Victoria's with our chef in our Kitchen World kitchen. Thank you, Ellen. We have a new chef, and I got to tell you, when the folks in our newsroom learned that it was uh, Joe Yergi from Mulberries yes, in Lackawanna, yep. everybody was thrilled. And I, I'll guarantee you, there's going to be a line outside <laughs> of all our News 4 people. <laughs> Welcome to Winning Thank you very It. Much. And what are we making today? Today, we're going to make uh, rigatoni with mussels, which is a dish that I had in a home in Naples in May when I was in Italy for the first time. And uh, I'm not a big muscle fan, but this dish really turned me on, and I think it's a, it's a wonderful interpretation of what Neapolitan cuisine is. I'm glad you said that, because I'm not a great fan of mussels. I'll eat them, and sometimes, you know, if they're prepared well, but I'll have to try it now that you said that. <laughs> right. What are some of the ingredients that folks will have to have? Uh, well, I'm using heirloom cherry tomatoes today. Typically, you can use uh, any type of regular cherry tomato this time of the year in particular when they're ripe and sweet. Uh, a little garlic, some shallot, uh, salt and pepper, crushed red pepper and everyone's greatest fear, which is anchovy. <gasps> and just a touch of anchovy, and again, I'm not an anchovy fan either, but it brings a lot of depth to the dish, uh, and uh, it hopefully this eliminates some people's fears of uh, anchovy. Just a very uh, I, a hint. It's a fresh like basil. A great fear of anchovy, <laughs> anything anchovy. Um, tell us how long um, Mulberries has been around. Uh, a little over five years, a little over five years. And you, other, what were you doing before? I was in collections. And you decided to go into the restaurant business, why? Uh, well, I got to feed the tank. Feed the tank. <laughs> feed the tank. <laughs> you just, have a, you always cooked? Uh, you know, I really started cooking uh, in my uh, mid-20s. I really started to develop a passion for it, and I cooked all different types of food. And uh, my partner, Tim Everly, actually uh, convinced me that Italian food was the way to go with the mulberry, and uh, he loves this dish as well, so. Where is Mulberry's located, the exact It's address? located in Bethlehem Park, which is an old uh, neighborhood that was directly across from the steel plants off Route 5. Everyone says it's very difficult to find, but it's really not that difficult to find. Uh, it's set in a neighborhood. Uh, there's no other businesses in the area. There was at one time, but we're the, we're the last bastion there, so. When you can't find a parking spot, then you know you've arrived at <laughs> Mulberry's. Okay, we're going to talk more about um, the mussels dish. Yes, ma'am. The rigatoni, and uh, when we come back, and more about Mulberry's. All right, thank you.